Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the F-19 Sentry. And we're going to be doing it on TNB Trails. Because honestly, I feel like this is kind of the perfect type of map to experience a vehicle like this to its fullest. Now, I do feel like... If you haven't checked out this mod yet, like even if you're not into trail riding, rock crawling and things like that, you should still definitely check this mod out because whether you want to use it for campaign scouting or if you want to take it out onto maps like Outback Overlanding or TNB Trails or kind of whatever you want to do in terms of trail riding, it's going to do really, really well at all of those. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing in the garage, go through the customization, and then we're going to take it on some proper trails and see what it can do. Now, I will say, if you do want to skip ahead to the driving portion of the video, because I know that some people don't like to watch the customization and they only want to watch the driving, feel free to do that. I will not be upset. So let's go ahead and dive right into the customization. So our first option is a 2.8 LT RD 28T. I don't really know the significance of these names, but I'm sure that they are related to some engine code or another. Now, you also have the 4.2 liter TD42 and the M57 swap. We're going to go with the TD42 for this build, but you could really go with whatever you want. It's kind of honestly entirely up to you. Now, they're all S+, plus, but I'm sure that they all drive differently. And that's going to be up to you and up to the kind of experience that you personally want to have. So let's go ahead and jump into the gearbox selection. We're going to go ahead and do the crawler gearbox in this one. And we're going to run... I feel like the 9-inch lift is going to be too high. So we're going to run the 6. I feel like the 6 is going to be a nice happy medium between flex and just overall clearance. And plus, if we're doing proper rock crawling, I feel like the 9-inch lift is going to be really just so high that it would very easily just flop over. So again, we're not going to worry about that and we're not going to install it. Now, as standard, well, I say standard, as the game gives it to you, the default tire is a 32-inch Falcon Wild Peak, although we can go all the way up to a set of 40s if we want to. Now, I'm kind of back and forth on which size I want to do. I like the look of the 40s, but I also really like the 37s. Mm, I think I'm going to run these, the 40-inch KM3s. They look sick too. So let's go ahead and install those. And I think we're going to run the... Mm, oh, I love the description. This one runs even when your engine abandons you. <laughs> oh, geez. That's like... Ugh. Engine abandonment is always terrible. That's like... That's like when they say, Oh, what happened? And you're like, Oh, nothing much. My engine just experienced some rapid unscheduled disassembly, um, i.e. it exploded, but don't worry about it. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and leave the spare tire on the back, engageable diff lock installed, and we are definitely going to run a snorkel because even if we don't end up on trails in this video that require one, I'm still going to want it for the future. And now as far as equipment goes, I'll definitely go ahead and just get it outfitted. Now, as far as bumpers go, I'm definitely going to run the rear tube bumper because very clearly it is going to give us a huge advantage in terms of clearance. So let's go ahead and throw some rock sliders on the sides as well. And I definitely am not going to worry about the fender flares. I actually wonder, I wonder if it would look better with no flares at all for a little bit of that cut fender look. And actually, I kind of dig that. I'm going to run that. Now, no, <laughs> where are you going? Um, the front bumper, we got a couple of options. We've got a deluxe bull bar. We've also got an OEM bull bar. And of course, the stock bumper itself. We're going to go with the deluxe bull bar because I, I kind of like how it's a little bit less, um, it's a little bit less in your face as the OE bull bar. So we're going to go ahead and run that. 
And then wheels wise, we've got the dynamic S bead locks and the alloy bead locks. I'm just going to run the alloy bead locks. They look good to me. And colors wise, it's kind of whatever you want to do, but I really like the red and tan. I think that looks really, really good. But I also like, oh, that looks really good too. That looks really, really good. I'm so split on what I want to run here. I think I'll actually, I think I'm going to run the blue and the gray. Now, the interior, unfortunately, does not have a spot for beans. So it's clearly, clearly going to get some, um, going to get some bad marks for that. Except not really. I'm not, I'm not all that worried about whether or not it has beans in it. I'm just like... Every time I see a vehicle that doesn't have the ability to put beans on the dash, I'm like, oh, I can't take the pupper with me. This thing's got a lot of torque. Like, it's actually got a genuinely massive amount of torque. Kind of so much that you have to be oh, freaking careful. Well, one thing's for sure, I'm not going to have to worry about whether or not it'll climb anything. <laughs> I feel like I was a little bit concerned um, at the start that it was going to be a little bit iffy on climbing things. But I really kind of feel like that's not going to be an issue. Like, at all. Oh my god. The wheelbase being so short... Like, when it's in four-wheel drive, it does this strange, like, I don't know if it's like a crab walky kind of thing, but it, like, walks all over the ground in a very odd way. Let me go ahead and engage the lockers as well, because these rocks tend to be a bit slippy. I will say, I'm also really glad that we went for the six inch lift as opposed to the nine inch lift because the six inch lift is doing a phenomenal job so far and it's not having any issues clearing the 40s either. And I just feel like, oh yeah, right there, I feel like the nine inch lift would have flopped. It would have flopped over on its side and there would have been nothing we could do. So the six inch lift is definitely the move. It's such a little, like, mountain goat of a rig. Are you just gonna... I, I guess we're just gonna go around the rock. I mean, I guess that's just, that's the line that it wanted. So, that's the line we're gonna take. That's, apparently, that's legitimately the line that it wanted. And so I'm like, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with you, but geez. Oh. Yep. Yep, lockers. I'm not even gonna like, I'm not even gonna mess with that edge. If you could just thank you. Ooh! How we didn't flip over right there, I have no idea. I guarantee you the nine inch lift would have toppled though. That would have been over and done with for the nine inch lift. I am so glad that we went with the six inch lift. It's such a better choice. No, 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 no. So, um, making sure you're in the right gear is important. <laughs> Holy crap. Making sure you're in the right gear is more than important. Let me back you up real quick. And then bring you around. So long as you're on top of where you're going, it's solid. It literally has no issues going where you want it to go. Yep, lockers back off again. I'm not even going to worry about... You know what I do need to worry about, though? Driving off the edge. <laughs> Driving off the edge would be bad. And I'm really trying to not have that be the outcome here. In all serious seriousness, though, it is such a good rig to drive. It is such a good rig to drive, genuinely. Like, look at that! It barely even cares. It's just like, oh, okay, well, up you go. Don't even worry about it. 
And that short wheelbase makes tight corners so incredibly easy. Like, genuinely, seriously easy stuff. It's honestly mind-blowing how good it actually does. Now, I'm sure that there are going to be people out there that are going to be like, well, but I prefer larger vehicles. I prefer full-size, long wheelbase. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with vehicles like that. I actually really enjoy wheeling those as well. But, like, every once in a while when you drive something that's virtually tiny like this, you kind of realize why a lot of people like them so much. Like, you can just... Even though we kind of touched that inside rock... Do you have any idea how many turnarounds we would have had to do if we were in a longer wheelbase vehicle? Um, where in the heck does this go? I'm legitimately confused. I'm like, do we just drive up over? Yep, we do. Okay. <laughs> oh, that looks so sick. Look at that. That is such a sick view of this thing. All right, up you go. Honestly, this is one of those vehicles where I could just, I could just keep driving it. And I could, not only could I keep driving it, but I could get lost in the way that it actually does drive. So that is where we're actually gonna end this initial drive video. But if you want to check this thing out for yourselves, I highly suggest that you do so. And it should be available on your consoles. Although make sure you check your console mod browser to verify that. And I checked on the mod.io website and it does have um, all of the files for the various consoles. But again, do check your respective mod browser to make sure that it's there. And that is where we're gonna end this video. And I will see y'all next time.